Hello everyone, and today, uh, we're not going to look at my coming soon paper model rubber duck. We're going to look at Safari's LT uh, train tube engines. Now we're not going to talk about these, the freight train one. We're going to talk about a one that most people want and like. It is the steam train tube. Now I got this at a gift shop at uh, Debbie's Farm, I think it's called. It was good. There was paintball shooting, prospecting uh, thing. Uh, we went into this thing called the black hole. It, it was like a dark room and had like a and we were going in like a spinning tube thing which were glowing a light of stars in that and this is how you open a safari a tube but yeah that was great and it was even greater when I actually found this safari steam train tube Let's t dump them all out. Epic. And here's everything set up. Now, uh, before we continue on and review all of these, I actually own, like, one of these cars. The caboose and the coach. I just have two of these cabooses, and nearly all the rolling stock, and some of the rolling stock from the freight train tube, which is right here. Well, these are the new ones. Yeah, but I actually had like, some of these, some of these run cars back then. Like, I remember I had this, and I think this. And a few other cars. But then I, over time I lost them. And I only left with these. And then I got the freight train tube again. Which you probably know. Because it has this famous boy. Yeah, um. The, tr the freight train tube diesel will not look like this will look like this with black trucks and everything I just paint it up that way it will look good but anyway uh back to the pencil box where you came mm, there's all there's obviously one thing wrong here and that is well, there's one thing that safari 2 is known and that is their quality control because uh they're supposed, like, some of the cars supposed to be, are supposed to be painted, but clearly not. As well with the, the freight train tube. Uh, like, these, uh, like, these box cars are supposed to be yellow. I only have one yellow one, but I messed it up. I may be painted back to yellow. Uh... These cars, well, this car is supposed to have a darker shade of red, including this car. And this freight station and this passenger station was put, like these are the painted versions, but I have like two of these and two of these that are not painted. So yeah, that's quite common. So don't don't be all excited if you have unpainted uh safari tube and thinking, Oh frick I'm rich, I have the most rare safari tube when really that's common. Anyway, uh let's put everything yeah. Uh, of course, we're going to start with the steam engine, which is based after a porter. And of course, it's a little detailed, but uh, 
the safari tubes are not really meant to be like uh, excuse me they're not really meant to be like well detailed models as you can see with the uh, again I'm going back to the these to the freight train tube see not that detail just that and but these are just really meant to like teach kids about stuff give them examples of stuff anyway we got a water tower it's just painted oh yeah like and also right here the wheels don't have a gap between which could have saved them a few pennies on the building and they could have and they could have gave them space to put I don't know if this thing can focus turn on the light oh look it's my sock that's a fire oh oh my god this thing is out of control Safari. Yeah, you already know what that's supposed to say, but. Yeah, they kind of saved some space and pennies, but then again, if they did that, they will, if you find this second hand, the wheels would have been bent already. Now, to the coaches, because why not? Now, I originally thought these were like the same, but. Oh wait, they are. What am I talking about? Just that one. Oh fuck. Just that one was flipped around. And I thought, hey, that's clever. One's a half baggage and milk. How one's a half baggage and passing car, and the other isn't. But no. Yeah, of course these are supposed. One of these is supposed to be orange and black, and the other green and white. But then again. Yeah, I should have a green and white version, which you already saw, but I gave it yellow sides and a red f front because I was stupid. Right, uh, we already looked at the coaches. Now we have box cars. Now you can obviously see that these are completely different from the Frank train tube. These were actual, and I think these are modeled after 40 foot box cars. These are called, called yeah, you can already see these little tubey things can't stand on their own wheels. This one also says cargo car. But yeah, again, since this is an um, a unpainted batch of Safari. Uh, engines. One of them is supposed to be brown, which is, I think, this car, box car. And one of them are supposed to be blue, which I think is this car was supposed to be blue since it's green. Probably an undercoat, that way blue will show up better, but yeah. Now we're going with the box cars, and now with the log car, which is, the logs are... Bigger than the ones, again, from the diesel, I mean, freight train pack. Oh my god. I can tell these are more in scale than these, because these belong to a logging railroad, a narrow gauge logging railroad. This one's perfectly fine. And to my favorite car is this hopper car could have been better no yeah it could have been better if the if the right here and right here and right no right here and right here like see through like an actual hopper car but then it will like make this hopper weak it can already, uh, it could be damaged by children. And it has a coal load. Yeah, 
back then when I used to have this, I grabbed a black, blue, and red Sharpie, uh, do two black lines and get the blue and red Sharpie to do like Union, to kind of resemble Union Pacific in the, in the logo. If I still had it, I would have shown it, but no, I don't have it. And now to the, uh, the caboose, which I actually like it in a brown. Again, it's supposed to be red. As you can see here, and as you can see on the screen, I checked that ping. I checked that ping on Discord later. Yeah. And now, uh, the last thing, and it is the station. Again, unpainted. And I kind of don't like how they use... I, I don't like how they use for the black, for the stations. They use a black, uh, rubbery plastic mold, uh, pellet. For the base. Even for the freight train too. And I just realized the freight train station was right here. But it still looks nice. And I like this station more than... Actually, I like these two stations. These are the best by so far. But I think this station is more fit for a T-gauge layout. Since it's since it's more shrunken down and even compared to the steam engine or the diesel engine, it looks small. So if you have T gauge, you can get one of you can get one of these uh, safari tube trains and use this. And, yeah, I think that's it. If you're wondering why I sound unenthusiastic this video, don't worry, it's just that. I did not plan this, to make this video because I unexpectedly ran into this in the gift shop. Like, in the gift shop, there was like this little sh section for safari tubes and I was like oh let's see what we will find and then I was like I was surprised when I found a steam engine tube like I never thought I would actually find this tube <laughs> and I kind of begged for my parents to buy it and I glad I did so, and the reason is because, like, uh, unlike the freight train tube, this is, I don't want to say rare since it isn't, but, yeah, it kind of is, because, since we live in a society where kit, where people like steam engines more than diesels, me too, but I also have the same love for diesels. Uh, people are buying up this and not this again because it's a steamer. So yeah, and that's my video. And oh, get the freight train tube. Oh yeah, when you get the freight train tube, it won't be like. Have a lot of these. You only get that in like the baggies that Safari also sells. These are from the tubes. I bought like three of them. Paying and one up in a metro livery looks like shit. Yeah, kind of. And one in a CC livery, which 
I kind of like, but I may redo it. I may go with thinner and fix this up to be a sound free engine like this. And also touch this engine up. Oh, let me set everything up to make a full on train yard. Oh yeah, move these boys out of the way. There we go. And here's everything set up. As you can see here, the little 060 has stopped at a water tower to refuel for its next excursion. Private car, caboose. Here's the Santa Fe Super Chief hauling two gondolas. I need to know what those type of cars are called. Uh, Johnny's logs, wood chips, and a brown caboose. Metro engines just chilling with a few cars. Little rail, rail yard right here. And a CC locomotive backing up to collect its train. Yeah, this is a little cool diorama. And fun fact, uh, if I can just, fun fact, uh, <clears throat> I found out with, uh, the steam engine tube, cars, that, uh, these tube engines coincidentally fit in the little outer rail of Trackmaster track. Kinda, it kind of wobble, wobble, but uh, yeah, that's fine. Car cars kind of fit perfectly. Yeah, some cars don't fit perfectly, but others do. Yeah, but I don't know about the steam engine. Probably not, cause yeah, the, it can't. Since it doesn't have flanges like uh, the other cars. But hell, anything else but that can fit. Oh frick, the, oh, frick, the coaches fit perfectly. Oh, well, they. Anyway. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.